All items under ordinances have been removed for separate consideration at this time, except to be considered now on items nine. We, did we go to purchasing and tabulation of bids four and five? Oh, yes, I got so carried away now to the supplemental post. Okay, purchasing and tabulation of bids um, two, three, six, six A, and seven have been removed. Is there a motion on the ballot? Move. Moving to a vote favoring opposed items carried. Okay, under ordinances, all items have been removed except 9, 16, and 19 to be considered at this time. Moving, moving to a vote on the balance favoring opposed items carried. Okay, items removed for separate consideration. Item 3 is. Is there a motion? Second. Second. Discussion? Favoring opposed? No. Item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Item three, is there a motion? Second. Discussion? Councilmember Brown. Thank you, Mayor, and Happy New Year. Um, item three, I'm willing to support it. Looks like we've got a good deal here, but I um, do want to encourage us to, just because a procurement is exempt from the city's hire first policy that we make a good effort to try to uh, hire first, even if we're exempt in any of these pro procurements. So we do benefit by giving business to our local uh, East Onions. Thank you. Moving to a vote on the item favoring opposed. Item carries. Item six is an order. Discussion. Favor, opposed, no. I'm curious, Councilmember Brown voting no. Set A, set there a motion. Move. Discussion. Favor, opposed, no. I'm curious, Councilmember Brown voting no. I am seven, is there a motion? Move. Second. Discussion. Councilmember Brown. Okay, please. Item has been tagged. Mm -hmm. Item 8 is an ordinance. Discussion. Favoring proposed. Mm -hmm. Item carries. Councilmember Brown voting no. Mm -hmm. Item 10 is an ordinance. Item has been tagged by Councilmember Briggs. Item 11 is an order. Discussion? <coughs> Favoring? Opposed? Item uh, carries. Item 12 is an order. Discussion? Favoring? Opposed? Item uh, carries. 13 is an order. Discussion? Councilmember Christie. I'm in favor of after school programs and uh, uh, help with nutrition. Uh, some of the school children here, but I, would, I just need a little reassurance on the quality of the nutrition when they talk uh, snacks. Are we adding to the nutritional deficits of children or are we helping? Now, I know it, it says here you went through the, the uh, federal nutrition standards, but Federal government it took about 50 years to get the food pyramid right, and uh, it's just about right now. So I, I just don't say the federal government knows exactly what they're doing as far as nutritional standards most of the time. There's a lot of community centered, 49 of them. But the way they, they did the proposal, there's not one word on nutritional. I do qualifications. Conformance, operational, financial strength, cost, NWBE goal. There's not one criteria used for the quality of nutrition that you're giving these children. So I just, I just want the city to be part of the solution and not part of the problem with the, uh, the obesity problem. So I'm going to vote for it, but please have somebody from, from staff uh, reassure me that this is quality food instead of just more junk food and snacks. Councilman Brown, happy to have uh, someone from
from the Parks Department come and, and walk through what they serve. Uh, the, the grant funds are tied to federal nutritional standards. I'm not sure that we can impose our own <coughs> on top of that, but I'll uh, uh, certainly have a follow up with you. But you could always add to the nutritional standards. They're just basics. In a school district, we, would, we could improve the quality of food and just meet the basic standards, which are not good enough for children nowadays. Uh, yes, sir. Nothing I have uh, in the backup that you pointed out uh, references exactly what's going to be served, so I can so we'll certainly have that followed up on. Uh, Mayor Pro Tim Gonzalez. Thank you, Mayor. Um, Mayor, I do support this, but my, my only concern is that of 16 vendors that downloaded the RFP, only one uh, submitted uh, for this contract. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I know that we've approved uh, Dean's Food before. I'm sure they're doing a good job. It's nothing uh, personal against their efforts. But I would like to grow some more competition in this area because I think it would be good for pricing, good for the city, maybe good for you know uh, more, more better nutrition. Uh, uh, but, but just concerned about it, we, we dealt with another contract dealing with food as well, and, and one of the big vendors received that contract. And so I think over time we need to find a way to break these down a little bit more or grow capacity in some of these vendors because we do have 16 that downloaded, but it's just it's, they quite just can't seem to get there in terms of, of the meals that they're expected to, to produce. So maybe we could break it down. That's my only concern. But I do support that. Councilmember Green. Thank you, man. I just want to you know that Councilmember uh, Christie with regard to the nutritional the nutritional standard uh, of these meals. Uh, when you go to some of the community centers and see the brown bag lunches that they get, uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, perhaps we can do better from a nutritional standpoint. So, you know, um, uh, if uh, uh, the administration of uh, the parks could uh, also let me know, you know, how we, 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 we're going to handle that, that issue. Uh, I'd be, you know, curious to, to, to see, you know, what, you know, uh, uh, will be served. You know, as you mentioned, these are a lot of our community centers around the, the city, and this one vendor looks like it's going to be the only one vendor that will, with no competition, will be provided. And so we just want to make sure that, uh, as Councilmember Christie stated, that the nutritional standard is not. Yes, Councilmember, we would be, we would share any response um, for Councilmember Christie to the entire council. Okay. Councilmember Perkins. Thank you, Mayor. I um, am concerned. I have heard about some of these programs, these after school programs uh, that uh, do feeding the federal government uh, their money. What concerns me is the gummy bears and the other sweets that go along with it. Uh, Councilmember Christie has it exactly dead on. What has happened is, is that uh, a lot of the food in which these children receive are not nutritional. Uh, so therefore, let me just do this. The council member needs more information. I like to get some more information. I'm not angry with this. I'm for this, but I like to tag it. I'm just going to tag it. 